Hello. Today on the Ride Garage, we're going to be doing an oil change. Uh, I'm going to say it's just a basic oil change for any car. Uh, every car is a little different, but for the most part, oil changes are the same. Um, I'm going to go over some possible issues you may have with your oil filter, getting it off or anything like that, as well as just the basic steps. The first thing you're going to do uh, is get all your tools together in this case. So I've got my oil here, It's uh, in this case I'm just using 20 weight 40 which I need because my vehicle uses the engine oil and transmission oil is the same. So I need to run a little bit higher. Uh, some people run, it's typically a 540 or, five, or 550 uh, but mine's 20 weight 50. So you're going to need your catch bucket for your oil, a good filter funnel so you don't get engine oil all over your block whenever you're dumping in your new oil into your oil fill cap. Uh, I'd use a thicker one but I can't actually find my thicker one right now so I'm going to use that one. And then you have your pail here to go ahead and dump all your old oil into. That way you can go and recycle your oil. Your oil filter, I got some paper towels here just to wipe off any extra residue I get anywhere. Your socket to remove your oil drain plug. And then in my case I have a couple, I have a Phillips and a flat head screwdriver because I have to take off some uh, body panel or my grill actually just to get to my oil filter. Now your oil filter can be located in a, num a number of places. Uh, in my case mine is right behind my grill here so that's why I'm going to have to take this off. Uh, some they're going to be behind the, the tire. Uh, you may be able to see it. You may be able to just turn your tire. Sometimes you actually have to take your tire off to get to it. Um, the majority of cars they're typically on the engine block and you're going to be able to access them through the underside of the car. So the first step is to go ahead and get your car running at a nice uh, nice warm temperature. You don't want it too too hot. I wouldn't even say complete operating temperature because that's going to be too warm. So just leave it running for about five minutes to get the, the oil warm and lubricating through the engine. And then what I like to do is while that the vehicle is running I go ahead and put it on the jacks so I can get to everything. Alright, and we're back. I went ahead and removed the grill and the uh, the rain shield that I need to get to my oil filter. Uh, my oil filter is actually right there. That would be this thing here. A uh, couple things I want to mention real quick. If you do have to lift or jack up your vehicle, I actually wouldn't have to jack mine up if I had a oil catch pan, but I'm just using this bucket here. So, I need to jack it up to get the clearance underneath the oil drain plug. But whatever side, in this case my oil drain plug is right here. Whatever side your oil drain plug is on, you want to jack it up, if you do need to jack it up, on the other side. That way the engine is tilting slightly towards that oil drain plug so the oil can flow as much as possible out of that drain hole. So at this point what I'm going to go ahead and do is drain the oil and for that uh, mine's a 24 millimeter drain plug so I got my socket here all right you can see the oil is actually starting to come out now and there we are all right real quick I just want to show you this on the bottom of my oil drain plug I have a magnet and all that metal that's on there, that's actually from, in my case, a combination of the engine block and the transmission because mine's connected. So all these metal flakes and everything, that's going to be on the inside of your engine. But most of them will have these, uh, these magnets on the end of them just to protect your engine and get as much of that as out of there as possible and keep it from recirculating in your engine. So just make sure you go ahead and clean that off before you re uh, put, that, put that back inside the engine. Uh, another thing I want to mention real quick, this oil drain plug, is you have this copper washer here, and this is actually a gasket. Uh, it's recommended that you replace this gasket after every oil change. Okay, so while your oil is draining, you can go ahead and get ready, get your new filter ready. So go ahead and take it out of the box. Some will have a plastic, uh, like a plastic seal on it, go ahead and take that off. And what you need to do is you need to prime this new one here. So you take your new engine oil. Go ahead and you want to fill it up to about the halfway point on your filter. 
And actually I can see it going down in there, so let me go ahead and put some more. Now what this is going to do is going to get the engine or the uh, the filter ready so when the engine turns on, the engine does not have to try to fill up the oil filter. Uh, all right. And then you can just take some oil, go ahead and rub it on that gasket. That way it'll create a nice seal when you go ahead and put it back in. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my plug back in just to stop that drip. All right. So I went ahead and put that uh put that oil drain plug back in. Just enough to stop that dripping. Now you're going to go ahead and remove your oil filter. Now oil filters should be typically hand tight. Uh, if they somebody else tightened them with a wrench or anything like that, you may need to either buy a wrench or there's a number of ways you can get the oil filter out. Let's see how tight mine is. Uh, there may be a couple, uh, or excuse me, there's a couple different ways you can get this off. Uh, the one of the first ways is, is if you have a very large wrench just like this one, uh, then you can probably remove it with this, but if not, you can also use anything from uh, a tire tube from an old bicycle or something like that just to get a grip on it. Use a screwdriver, wrap it around a couple times, or even a wrench or what or what have you. Wrap it around a couple times, you'll get a nice solid grip on this, and you can just twist it off. Uh, if you do want to buy a wrench, that's that's fine to each his own. Uh, I just don't like spending money on. I like to spend money on parts rather than uh, tools, unless of course I need a tool. Um, but for mine. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So mine was about hand height, which is awesome. Now the reason I have the catch bucket under here is some oil filters, they may not be in perfectly straight and screwed in like this one. But even still, you could potentially get, there it is, there's some runs right here. And that's just coming from the drain tube up top, which is very common. But that's why we put that drain, or that catch pan underneath where your filter is. All right. So we got the filter off. All right. So go ahead and take your new filter. And you're just gonna screw it on. And once again, your oil filter sh doesn't need to be any tighter than hand tight. Make sure this is tightened down. All right. So with that done, go ahead and tight your, tighten your oil drain plug, which is right there. So go ahead and make sure that's nice and tight. And then we can just come up top, on top of your valve cover is usually where it is. All right. And on your valve cover. Most will say oil or engine oil or oil fill or something to that effect. And then that's where you're going to put your oil in. Alright, so we've got everything tightened down. So now all you have to do is just add your engine oil. Um, to find out exactly how much you need or even what type, you can refer to your owner's manual. Or you can do what the majority of everybody does and go online and find the answer. Yep, once you get your engine oil in, go ahead and uh, first check the fluid level. Make sure it's within the operating line, or uh, I like to have it pretty much exactly in, the, in between. You can have a little high or a little low. Now, after you've done your oil change and you've driven for I don't know, about a week, go ahead and check. Make sure, just check again. Make sure you don't have any, you know, leaks from your your oil plug or uh, from your oil filter itself. Make sure your your fill line there's the, the oil level is still in the operating area and. And you're good to go.